everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. And today it's time to look at our month ahead for July 2021. What are the energies that are in store this month? What might we see happening in the news? And what are the energies that are with us for this month? I'm going to take a look at the cards. I'm going to shuffle up and we'll get started. Okay, so I've shuffled up the cards and I've laid them out. And I've got some pretty interesting things happening with this month. And uh, it actually has me kind of excited. So let's see what we have. All right, so I did my spread a little differently this month. What I've got is uh, eight questions. And I wanted to focus on what's going to be in the news. What are we going to be seeing happening, playing out? And I put a primary influence and a secondary influence. So let's go over these cards here. The first one is a messenger. We have the Page of Cups, and this is on the primary influence this month. Now, the Page of Cups is a card of things are a little bit fishy. There's some funny business going on when this card shows up. It can indicate scandal. It can indicate something fraudulent, underhanded, treachery, gossip, sneaky, shady, anything like that. So we've got some funny business going on. But what's interesting about this is we have our secondary influence. And that is the Queen of Swords. Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that my interpretation for the Queen of Swords is she is the no BS. She gets to the bottom of things. She doesn't let things slide or get past her. She has a nose for the truth, and she can smell a rat from miles away, okay? And that is very interesting, these two very different competing energies for primary and secondary influences for this month. So what this tells me is that we have a shady business going on this month, but we have this hot on the trail that is sniffing out the funny business and seeking remedy. Okay, whether that is seeking to expose it, to rat somebody out, to see the truth, tell the truth, uh, get to the bottom of the truth. So we're going to be seeing that. Fraudulent activity being exposed with the anti-corruption queen of swords hot on the tail of funny business. Okay. Interesting energies for this month, given what probably we're going to be seeing in the news uh, with regard to some of the things coming out of various states, okay, including Arizona and some others. Oh, I just want to say one more thing on the queen. Um, she's all over it. And this is what I wrote. She's all over it like a fly on flypaper, and it's all coming to a head in July. Okay. Now, so let's take a look at the next card. This is the Knight of Swords. This is a card of taking action. We have this on the, on the past influence. So what kind of led up to all of this? And this is a card of really wanting to get to the bottom of something as well. He's, uh, he kind of works with the Queen of Swords a little bit. She gets to the bottom of things, but he's the one, he's like the scout. He's the one that's gone out and done some of the legwork and uh, expose some things, taking action, that's that card. It's a card of being decisive, moving forward against the odds, against obstacles, pushing forward regardless of pushback. That's that night. And that's what we've seen happening too, okay? The present influence, we have the Fool card, jumping in, moving ahead. And this is the Fool card. This is the energy around what's happening, jumping in, getting ready to embark on something new, taking a risk, not really caring about where it's going to go. It's like we just want to get going and move forward. So there's going to be a lot of that energy around some of the things in the news, but also just in general. Maybe people are feeling some restlessness, some really wanting to just break out of the mold a little bit get out there, do things. Maybe people have felt cooped up. So some of that energy is around 
regardless of what's playing out in the news, that fool energy of just wanting to get out and get things done and, and maybe go on vacation or try something new. Okay. This is interesting because when I wrote out my spread for, for card number five, um, I put, and now before I even laid the cards out, I just was feeling, okay, card number five is important and I'm going to call this spread for July. The month of July is all about mindset. And I wrote this down. What influences this number five card depends on our mindset. Whether we give in to fear or other negative influences or whether we hold and envision truth prevailing and good resulting in our circumstances. This to me, I just felt this was very key and very interesting card. We have the star card. The star is a card of hope and potential new beginnings. Having a hope for renewal, renewing a mindset, renewing a vision for a future, a positive outlook and a positive outcome. And that really gave me hope because as we hold a positive mindset, we can unlock the potential of this Major Arcana card, I might add. Major Arcanas in tarot carry a lot more weight. And as we hold that perhaps this Queen of Swords is going to get to the bottom of things, and she will be successful in getting to the bottom of the, of the funny business and exposing the lies and bringing forth truth, as we hold that, we're accessing the potential found in the star, and it's all about mindset. We gotta hold a positive mindset. Can't be negative Nellies. I know a lot of people are tired and weary of all of the stuff that's gone on over the last several months in the news and whatnot. But this is a time to put all of that aside and just choose that we are not going to lose our country, our way of life, things that we've come to love and know, and our, our livelihoods. It goes beyond what's happened in the political. I mean, we've had so much chaos and destruction that has happened economically, environmentally, with people's livelihoods, all of that. And it's worn some people down, understandably so. And sometimes, sometimes faith, that last stretch of faith requires to just make a choice regardless of circumstances. This is about not letting your circumstances choose your reaction or how you're going to respond. This is about saying, you know what? I don't care what it looks like. This funny business going on or whatever else in my life personally, I don't care about that because the star card gives that potential hope that no matter what things look like, Holding a positive outcome, being grateful, can really produce good results. And I think it's going to work in the month of July. And this actually gave me a lot of hope. I was kind of wondering, it's like, okay, oh uh, boy, you know, I wrote it, I wrote all this out before I laid the cards out. And I thought, boy, whatever number five is, that's going to tell us kind of what direction we're actually going to go. And so... I wrote down here, we're on the verge of turning a corner into a new direction. I think we're on a positive trajectory, but we gotta hold that mindset and not give in to apathy, fear, negativity, okay? And I know that's sometimes easier said than done. Uh, all right, so what is the likely or probable influence this month? Well, this was an interesting card. We have the Ten of Swords. 
this is a card of endings. Whatever it is, it's over. Likely, probable, something ending, something being over, finished, done, completion. That's really interesting. Conclusion, finality, done, over. The hidden influence this month, we have the worldview, two of wands, two of rods. Choosing, potential. Again, potentiality with that two of wands. It's about vision. What do you want to envision for your future? It's really up to you. It's up to us what we create. Some things are faded. Some things are destined to happen. Other things, it really depends on people's reactions, people's inaction, people's actions. That's really what defines how we move forward and what kind of future we create. So the last card on this is a messenger. And number eight is the outcome that's likely. Now we have here the Knight of Cups. This is a really nice positive card. It's a card about an offering, receiving an offer, making an offer, but new things coming in and a messenger about it. So a messenger tells us there's more that will be revealed. We don't have all the pieces yet. But what I found interesting about this spread, and I'll show it to you at the end of this video, is the way the, the cards are facing. I, I pay attention to that a lot when I do my spreads because the card of the outcome and that number five star card, that potential possible influences. Those two cards underneath each other are facing the same direction. They're facing away from the spread into the great unknown, into a new direction. And the cards behind them are all facing the other direction. That's why I'm thinking that we're on the verge of something new. We're on the verge of turning a corner. And as we hold positive energy and mindset, whether you want to pray, whether you want to meditate, whether you just want to just hold your space of good intention for the right outcome, whatever you want to do adds your little piece to the whole, to the giant matrix. Okay, and your, your, your intent, with your intention, you're telling the universe what future you want to envision and hold. Now this stuff has been studied, this stuff has been looked at many different ways about the, the power of intention. It's not just a, a cute buzzword. It really is something that we each contain and as we together envision a hopeful future or a brighter future, we can create that together. It's so much better than dwelling on the negative or worrying about what might happen or being in fear. So I want to encourage everybody to try to stay out of fear this month. I, I, this feels so good to me. And, I, and believe me, I would, I would tell you straight if I'd be like, boy, we really have a lot of work to do <laughs> to stay positive this month. I really feel like the potential is there to really see significant change this month. Now, we're talking overall energies, okay? There may be little things playing out in the news. I've heard, um, I've heard different people talk about potential um, false flags or different things happening that might disrupt things. That's potential. That's possible. Anything's possible. But I think a greater probability is the potential that we are facing right now to turn a corner in a new direction, a better direction. Now, a lot of this remains to be seen how this will play out. And it'll be interesting to see, you know, where things go in the near future. I do my best to stay positive. But, you know, even I have seen some things that look a little bit 
like, oh my gosh, where are we heading in for? <laughs> so there are, there are some things, especially toward the later part of this year, that could get challenging. But we're not there yet. We have the ability to turn a new corner here in a good direction this month. So step by step, little by little. Okay. So mindset this month is key. And underneath we had the Seven of Pentacles, which is also about potential. Looking over the past, what you've accumulated, being accountable, and also it's about possibilities. So a lot of good energy this month, but look for the news to be really interesting this month. One side is sneaky, the other side is getting to the bottom of the sneaky. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. All right, that's what I have for the month of July. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for joining me, and we will catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.